an 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. All right, we've got the warm front dividing the area in half. It is muggy. Once you head Lafayette South, where it's 78 Crawfordsville, dew points up into the mid 60s now, 71 at Lafayette, but it's only 62 Monticello, 57 Winnemac. Warm front is about right here. South of it, it's a little more like May. North of it, it is like March, still a little bit cool. And it's along that warm front where you've had these discrete storms kind of blowing up this afternoon right here. And we've had some large hail from those storms, and that's what we're keeping an eye on for the evening hours. Any of these storms riding right along that warm front. So the Weather Service has got the tornado watch in effect. And there it is with the storms kind of lining up to our west. We've had some warnings from these at times. Now recently we've seen a little decrease in the intensity from some of these, and they've become a little more line segments than individual supercells. So a little line of some storms, though, coming into Newton, Jasper County, approaching Benton County. And then as you move westward, there are other storms. There's a little supercell there south of Peoria and other storms here in Missouri with warning. So bottom line is isolated severe threat through the evening with that warm front, isolated tornado, large hail, and perhaps a damaging wind gust. Now tomorrow it's going to warm up in a big way. These storms will get out of here, and it's just going to be windy and muggy with highs in the 70s to right around 80 degrees area wide. Much colder Friday. Notice everybody's in the upper 40s to right around 50 though as the cold air roars in. Tonight though, uh, there are the scattered storms kind of coming in from the west uh, right along that warm front and then they kind of start to move north as the warm front goes north. So once we get in farther into the night, uh, the storm threat will tend to go down. Hence the watches up till 1 a.m. Now tomorrow, this is kind of a, a difficult forecast because it looks partly to mostly cloudy, windy, warm and muggy. Some of the models are trying to pop a few little storms tomorrow afternoon. Now, if that can happen, that would bring about a severe weather threat. I'm not totally sold on that yet, though. I still think the main event would be tomorrow night. And some of the new data is indicating also it may be a little bit earlier. I mean, this is 8 o'clock in the evening, the squall lines in Illinois. And once we get towards about 830, it's at the state line with swaths of damaging, swaths of damaging wind, large hail, and perhaps a couple of tornadoes in it. Moves eastward, that's around 10, and this model has it out of here by midnight. We'll keep an eye on that, but it may be speeding up a little bit. So rather than being after midnight, it may be a little earlier in the evening. There's your severe threat for this evening. There's the severe weather threat once we get into tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, and there's the flash flooding threat. We've already had a lot of rain anyway. This is including what we've already gotten and how much we're going to get. So by Friday morning, two to four inches area wide will do about four, perhaps Morocco and everybody else is going to be pretty close to three inches of rain. We've already had about an inch and a half here at the station. We'll probably get another inch and a half. 70 forecast 48 Friday, chilly, windy. 53 Saturday, but we're back to 74 Tuesday. Then a front goes through with a few showers Tuesday night, early Wednesday, and it cools off. But uh, only one chance of rain next week. We're going to start to dry out finally. All right, that sounds good. Battle of the seasons, though, right oh, now. Oh, you bet, yeah. Okay, Chad, thanks. Sure. Thanks, Chad. Well, the Pacers in action. Yes.